Hi guys and welcome to your June 2020. This is going to be the what aren't they telling you for the beautiful sign of Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Hello. If you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you are subscribed to the tribe and what's good, fam, bams, my marvelous fam. Hello to my marvelous members. Hello, hello. All right, what are they telling you? Beautiful sign of Leo, 7th through the 13th, guys. Keep in mind, the dates are for me. The messages are for you. Let's get it crack a lacking. Okay, 11-11 portal is closed. When you go to that portal and you want to book me, if it shows that there's no availability, that just means that the five first, it takes the first five slots. 11-11 specials, $11 for 20 minutes first five slots and then the portal closes and it opens again the next month okay this is our sixth month with bringing it back I, I used to do it once a year actually twice a year I, I did 12 12 specials too actually um, so I don't want to go into a history lesson about it but when you don't see it available it means that it's sold out you have to try again next month I am saying that and at the top of every video because there seems to be some confusion about that so if you're new and you want to catch that fine but keep in mind all of the readings are on sale every product is on sale okay the codes that you need to book what you need is below so if that's what you want to do please go ahead and do that Ooh, that popped out we're going to keep shuffling okay so let's find out what they didn't tell you if you're connecting with taurus capricorn and libra those are the top three and they're kicking everybody's butt, obviously. Um, they are the top three. So you, if you are connecting with either one of those, uh, please go and watch their videos and their extensions are available for purchase. Guys, and I've been meaning to say this. I swear I'm going to have me a script. I like the freestyle, but watch for your partner's sun, moon, and rising. Don't just watch for their sun sign, okay? Watch for their sun, moon, and rising. And I was gonna do a Venus series because Venus, some people don't resonate. They resonate with that Venus. This is love reading. So how you need to be loved. That's why I try to give you your love natures. Um, but that's down the line. Show me spirit what's going on with Leo and their partner. Ooh, the Ace of Wands. I love it. This is also the strength card, if I'm not mistaken um you are coming up with the strength hold on let me grab that let's get you some spiritual some spiritual what is this um what am i yeah <laughs> charcoal spiritual incense all up in the thing okay there we go i am pretty sure this is strength i want to just check blended deck illuminated tarot in your heart place overcome a desire build and trust and courage we already knew that so your card your major arcana leo coming up in the heart place okay um but then it's blended with ace the ace a new beginning okay a new passionate beginning uh creativity your passion your strength your willpower tapping into that solar plexus Everything that that is is wand related will be new, a new found passion, a new found will to want to go on and succeed um, and move forward into something that you're dealing with. OK, and obviously we're dealing with love. Let me lube up a little bit. Um, I also want to say that the top of the deck that we're blending is the four of cups. Um, I don't necessarily like that energy, but I understand because right now that could mean well first of all when we put them together there is a love situation or situation um that you're just not trying to deal with right now um uh, leo and your partner may be saying hey pay attention to this cup and you're like i don't hear you huh i i, I hear you humming but i ain't coming <laughs> no <laughs> So let's see, okay? Or oh, they could be looking at you, Leo, as we have all of this new thing, these new creative endeavors. Things are going good. 
But why won't you look at this? We also need for you to look at this, Leo. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense to me. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and shuffle around it. So that's beautiful energy, though. And then you're coming out. So you're being tapped in, Leo, to be extra strong about a situation. Like, I, that doesn't make any sense. It's the energy for both of you guys. But you're coming up. So I do feel like it's about something that, that Leo needs to do. And I keep almost saying Scorpio. So if some of you guys are connected with Scorpio, then there it is. Because this is Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. But that just tried to come out of my mouth three times. Um, okay, we're going to go in with the Tarot Grand Lux right now and shuffle around the heart place and then we will go in with our romance cards. Let's find out what is this situation about spirit. First of all, first of all, first of all, we have the death card. That's that Scorpio energy. I just got through saying that. Okay, well, there's our Scorpio tie in. Okay, spirit. Thank you. You asked for it, Marv. Here you go. Boom. Okay. Endings and beginnings. So there's definitely some strain on the love uh, portion here. Um, oh, oh, looky, looky. That's the Ace of Cups. I like it. That's such a beautiful card. Okay. So right now it's looking like, Leo, that there has been some um, obviously strain in the past and someone was unhappy with the situation as it was going on in the status quo at the time. But now this particular person or is looking at it where there's, it looks like there's new beginnings, okay? So we have two aces thus far. And then we have a really good energy that's surrounded around you guys, major arcana energy for ending and beginning something else, okay? All right, Ten of Swords, and this man is naked. Here we go. So here is the naked Ten of Swords. So it seems like there is some fear around this new beginning. Um, wow, that's a lot. But the Wounded Warrior is here coming in. Wounded Warrior. Oh, my goodness. I have to rebalance these cards. There we go. Um, Ten of Swords, which is good because we do have... Um, it, it seems that there is some things with the way that someone thinks someone still feels chained and 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 shackled to something you see he's he is naked i mean naked the nakedness in the card all jokes aside i believe is to um give you imagery about the vulnerability that it feels to be naked and cuffed like ball and chain energy is what i'm feeling here so Someone wants the new love, okay? Someone wants the old residual energy to go away. But yet, I still feel that someone still feels a little shackled. Um, and although we do have a brand new in the heart we could be desiring, a brand new passion at the beginning, I mean, it's here. But then we still are in this nine of wands and we do definitely feel like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I like it. I've been through hell. I've been through hell with this. Someone is still a little unsure. And I feel like, Leo, obviously that's you because your major arcana is here. So although you guys are going into these new beginnings, there's still a little trepidation on your end. You like, hmm. Hmm, know about this and then at the top of the deck we do have the seven of pentacles so you're reassessing and this is what really both of these cards mean if we really want to be honest okay so it looks like you know on one hand our heart deck is coming in like you know i've been through this shit with you you know I love you and I, you know, but there has been, there's a behavioral thing here. That makes sense. And this has been coming up in your energy. Someone is participating in some type of thoughts or actions that's redundant and it's turning you off a little bit, Leo. But you still are the sign of wanting to receive. So with that being said, you have to watch it because as long as you're getting what you want, you will take those chances. But these individuals are not equipped 
Um, everybody, just because they have the ability to give you something doesn't mean that you should commit to them. I'm not saying that that's what it is because I haven't clarified it yet, but um, you're definitely one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, reassessing things. On one hand, you don't want to lose all of the blood, sweat, and tears that you put into this person. You've made some investments, and I don't blame you for not wanting to lose the investment that you made in this person in this relationship, but is it worth it? And I think I, you know, and I'm not asking you that because I'm trying to be uh, melon in your business. That's what's here. Your uncertainty is coming out. You came out. Okay. So your cross watcher is one in a brand new uh, beginning in love and all of the shit that you guys plan. And I see your uncertainty. I feel that that's not what you necessarily want to do or you're treading lightly, if that makes sense. Clarify death. Make the effort. So we do have some stagnant energy in the past where, you know, making the effort and showing up for this relationship was an issue. Leo, they could have, they felt like maybe this is what you didn't do. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, now there's a brand new beginning in love with the beautiful Ace of Cups. Let's go ahead and clarify that. And so we know that this ma this major arcana energy is going to come, but there is some releasing of the X here. So um, your partner is looking at you with your hesitation. They don't see the hesitation the way that I see it, obviously. Um, they're viewing the hesitation as you being hung up on your ex. The energy of your ex and what you went through with your ex still looms. But I honestly think that given the way that you guys have been going back and forth, they would probably be able, you would probably be um, a little bit more enthusiastic to make, take the, take the risk and uh, take, take a leap of faith of certain things and this person, person's behavior, uh, didn't happen. As I see, when I see the wounded warrior, that means there's been a battle. So you guys are battling and the battling, whatever this is that puts you guys in these 10 of swords, this victims bottoming out, um, mentally drained, mentally dead type of energy that whatever brought that energy about, whatever that's about is what you, if, if that didn't exist, you probably would have already went and whatever this person want, wants you to do, you would have done already. Um, all of the same cards seem to be coming out, um, getting to know one another and releasing, uh, revealing, um, your innermost selves to one another to deepen the bond. There's still, again, a bit of, I don't know. That's in your heart. Again, that's the reason why we got two separate decks here. I really thought that it was important. I normally do that with a, with a Oracle deck, but this is blended. So it gives me tarot and I like that instead of just words or concepts, but those work too. Um, and the 10 of swords is that reconciliation. So, um, like I said, they, it's causing a great amount of stress to reconcile, although you love the person. Because, you know, there's a fight here. And this is just a fight that you don't want to fight anymore. But you still love the person. You don't mind. You love the person. But let me tell you something, Leo, um, if, if this is resonating with you. You don't make a decision based upon what someone can do. Because that material thing, let's just call it something. And I want you to hear how ridiculous it sounds. So, um, those Jordans, they're not going to rub your back at night. Ladies, that Gucci bag is not going to lay next to you. I, I guess technically you could snuggle with your Gucci bag, but I would much rather, and maybe that's the earth in me, um, you show me something else. And if you're going to spend, you know, $4,800 on a Gucci purse, put it in a bank. Take me to a hundred, two hundred dollar dinner and put that other, you know, bag that other four stacks. So what I'm saying is, is that I see the material things here. I see the investment that's been made. You can't make the rest of your life. You can't make a decision of something that's going to um, affect you for the rest of your life based upon how well someone spends money. 
spent money or how well they, they bought you an apology gift, okay? Um, I do see that this is taxing on someone's mind. And since I see, um, oh, and then of course there's good sex. And we always know how hard that is. So there's a lot of passion between you guys. Um, but again, that can keep you up in the middle of the night, but it don't pay the bill. So it's like, you can't write out a check with D-I-C-K. <laughs> okay, what I'm saying? Uh, this is a 18 or older channel, please. I didn't say the word, I spelled it, but you can't. You can't pay your credit card bill with J. I guess some of you can. I mean, some of us can. That's gross, but what I'm just saying. So um, I'm trying to get you to see how ridiculous it sounds just to spark a little bit of, um, um, you know, action in you. There is a, a newfound will here and you're going to have to tap into that solar plex, plex, plexus chakra um, to really figure out and will your way out of this situation. Then we have let your friends help you. So you have been dealing with your friends on this situation. Um, on one hand, you made the investment and you don't want to lose the investment. On the other hand, you're not really interested. There are some things that you have seen and you really are not into the relationship the way you should be. You're not present, okay? And what they're not telling you is they want the brand new beginning. It's just as simple as that. They want the brand new beginning. They know that you guys have been through hell. They want a reconciliation, although they put you through hell. Um, you know, they don't want you guys to miss a beat. Um, you know, and there's a lot of beautiful energy around you guys. All right. But, you know, let's see. Make the effort and death being clarified by nourishment. That's food for the soul, um, and that's the problem. That's been a part of the problem where the soul isn't being fed. New beginnings, clarifying my ace of cups and my release your ex. So, okay, it looks like you guys may be trying to try, which is good. The energy is here, but, you know, I have to lecture you every now and again because I see what you're struggling with, and it's just like it's not worth it, honey. You would be single and get all those new things on your own, but I get I get it. That energy likes that energy likes things. I mean, we all like gifts, but it's not worth it sometimes. It's not worth it. There's an evolving that's going on, which I like. Um, so getting to know one another, revealing your innermost self so your bond can deepen, that's good. So it looks like this time you guys will really be trying to get on the same page. Um, but there is that no card. So there is that, hmm, that's clarifying my ten of swords and reconciliation. So again, that is your subconscious coming out that you're not telling. Um, and yes, the throat chakra is being blocked. Um, the wounded warrior um, is that's what's clarifying my wounded warrior. And there is a shitload of passion. Um, if there is going to be. I do see the winner card here, which is beautiful. I don't get this that much. Awesome. Um, underneath is abundance. So I do feel like, you know, maybe at work, everything is going well. Congratulations on that. Um, but there is going to be some profound changes in the winter. Um, but this appears that it can work, but there's going to take a great deal of, um, of soul searching. You're going to have to dig deep. But what they're not telling you is, is that they see your struggle. They don't see it to the degree that I see it, Leo, but they see your hesitation. Very, very similar to, um, my, um, my Scorpio video and there's Scorpio cancer and Pisces here. Um, you know, they want this new beginning, but with all of the shit that you've been through, you know, I, I really think that you're being hesitant because you really just don't want to go through the same thing over and over again. Um, you know, so that's what I'm going to name this some type of version of that. Um, I really do think that there is a lot, you guys really need to sit down and have a, a talk about this. Um, you can resolve the last thing between you and that's fine.
but it's going to come back up as, if there is no resolution, if that makes sense. Um, and where is my damn... Sh okay. I told you guys last week, actually, and I'm trying to get the... Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get the title to that video where um, love is here, but it's going to take a great deal of work or whatever I called it. Um, that is what I constantly get in your energy. Where is Leo? Yeah. If you love them, if you love this person, give them a chance, but proceed with caution. If you are watching this for the first time, um, I need for you guys to go and watch last week's video because um, I think this person like buys you, Leo. I know that that sounds bad, um, but I feel like they buy your love to keep themselves relevant, but they're not making the necessary changes that needs to happen. That's just me. I pick up on your energy lately when I read your energy. I don't see enough in the energy that proves that there's deep, profound changes within that person. I see that this is what they want, but you know, some, and I, when I see it, I'll tell you, yeah, they want a brand new beginning. They are in love with you. Yes. But at the same time, there's so many battles. There's so much that this relationship has done to you mentally. Is it worth it? I'm, I'm seeing it. They don't care. They want the reconciliation. They want the new beginning and it's here. But you're the one, Leo, with you showing up in your reading that really has to dig deep. Because you're having to flex your strength uh, muscles here. I don't know who you're connected with, but your heart is being affected. And you have a should I stay, should I go type of mentality right now. So you have got to communicate that. Don't take this person down the road with you because... You're not 100% um, keen, keen on this reconciliation. Don't get it twisted. I'm looking at it. You know, you love them, but you, you're, you're starting to become tired. You love them. That's what I'm, yeah. You love them. They want reconciliation. You want peace. You know, you guys love each other, but, you know, there is it, just too much. So I'll figure out how to name that. Like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. Certainly hope that that resonates with you. I will see you guys next week when we do it again. Bye, Leo.